Good Monday morning, everybody. I am supposed to be packing right now because today is a getaway day uh, as I prepare to embark once again on a trip to Minnesota. But I wanted to show off this army that I have painted. This is what I'm going to be taking with me to Minnesota for the World Championships. And even though I'm not by any means a great or I would say even a good painter, uh, I did okay considering I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, this is the army that I painted for Rune Wars Miniatures game, uh, a game in which I'll be playing in the World Championship on Wednesday. Here they are. This is the whole army that got painted up. And uh, again, this is a first effort. I'm a novice painter. I have no training whatsoever. Uh, I just want to take a look at these models. I have a two-tray unit. These, these carry-on Lancers, these big, ugly worm guys. Got their scales and their green fluid popping out like like acne, uh, as one does. And they got these uh, these guys riding on here. Now I lost one of my models because he he he's missing an arm, so he got pulled out of the squad. But this guy this guy has assured everybody that he's still good to go. Um, he's got the left arm there with the shield, even though he's missing the right arm that throws the spear. But you know whatever. Yeah. They'll be able to partake. Uh, I have two units of these reanimate archers here. Uh, these guys shoot off the slings and arrows. And as you can see, I've got uh, some of the models completely done. The other ones, I got the I got the bone part of them done. But I need to uh, finish those up, which I'll probably do it literally at the last minute. Uh, I'll probably knock these out of the hotel tomorrow night while I'm watching the Dodgers destroy the Astros. Hopefully in a game that lasts less than five hours. Uh, the main character in my army is this guy, Artist Exerbus. Uh, I got him done. I did the diorama and the base, and I glued some grass on there. You see that kind of kind of blends in pretty well with the with the play mat that we'll be playing on, and uh, even got some blood on his axes there. This guy's just a dirty, dirty man. And then uh, the lava here, whatever this is. Uh, I guess I'm like on a sort of a volcanic. Diorama. This is actual beach sand that I got from uh, a trip a few months ago to San Diego County. And I got that beach and just got that right bright orange color on there because he's not afraid of walking around on volcanoes. And then finally, this big, big, massive unit here. I have nine trays of these reanimates uh, painted, each one of them. <coughs> got the skulls and their shiny armor and their purple cloaks. And then here on the front edge, we got, this might be the, the best paint job I've done. Uh, this is the champion. There's four infantry that, that are available for this game. I'm including this champion on here. These upgrades kind of help out a lot. And then I got this, uh, this drummer. That's the old joke from high school. What do you call a guy that hangs out with musicians? Drummer. Um, you know, this guy's just along because he's, he's got some talent. And he's kind of on hiatus. Uh, the band's not getting back together, so he thought he'd join the army and and beat the drums because every every army's got a good drummer. Then you got another carrying lancer here. This guy, look how aggressive this is. Big worm. Got to glue grass on here to kind of give that that sort of effect. And this guy here, I know he's not really a featured guy. He, he doesn't have a worm to ride on or a drum to beat on, but he's in the front rank. This is Greg. And Greg has made it all the way to the front rank of this. And he's doing pretty well for himself. He's in the Army. He's doing all right. He's uh, an ordinary guy with his hobbies and his likes and dislikes. Uh, he cries at the end of every episode of This Is Us. And he likes to sing karaoke. He sings Despacito and uh, You Can Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac. And then over here, you got the standard bearer because he's bearing a standard I like this. This reminds me of the old uh, George Carlin or Steve Martin gimmick where you got the arrow through the head. As you can see, there's an arrow through that head, and there's antlers. Antlers are featured a lot for some reason. This must be one of those reindeer games. And I painted this blue because there's just so much purple going on. I was just all purpled out. The only featured guy that didn't make the cut was this, uh, this necromancer. I really like this guy. I think I did a pretty good job painting him. Look at those abs. 
This guy's got, this isn't just a six pack, that's an 18 pack. Why don't we focus? I think it looks pretty good. And then the other model, like I said, it didn't make the cut. This guy, uh, he left the game previously with a severed left arm. And his return was questionable. And he's out approximately three to four weeks, according to the injury report. So, anyway, that's it. That's the, uh, that's the army that I'm bringing. Just a few finishing touches, and then these guys are ready to go for the world championship. Uh, I'm a little nervous, not so much about how I'm going to be playing in the world championship, but more about uh, the paint job that other people are doing, because there are a lot of people who are much, much, much better painters than me. But anyway, this is okay for a first effort. So needless to say, we'll have a lot more videos as the week goes on, and I'll update everybody on on how things are going. This is a fun biannual trip for me. I, I love love Minnesota, love going and love playing in the championship. So everybody have a great week. Stay warm and talk to you later. Go Dodgers.